I haven't done school in two years. Oh my god, this is making my brain hurt. Currently 6 a.m. I don't want to be up right now. I'm not gonna lie. But can you see it in my face? Can you see that I'm not excited? What? What? You're like, mommy, it's too early in the morning. I'm Bro, this is the cutest I've seen ever. Oh my god. You're so cute. Good morning. My first class is at 7. It's currently like 6, 10 a.m. Yo, I haven't done school in two years. Two years. Two years. I'm actually delusional right now. Like, I don't think y'all realize like how dumb I could be. I'm not saying that I'm dumb because like I still read books. But like it's like <laughs> there's a difference between reading self-help books and like trying to do some basic like trigonometry. When I dropped out of high school, I dropped out with 80s, okay? I'm taking the same courses, like, I'm not downgrading or anything, guys. I'm still taking the same courses. And I'm just jumping right into it. Hold on, let me wash my face. I watched my old high school vlogs yesterday and I was like, oh my god, I was so negative. Like, I used to just be like, oh, I don't want to go to school. Like, I'm not excited. Like, someone get me out of here. Like, hit me with the truck. Like, I wouldn't mind being ran over again. I was like, jeez. Like, why do people used to watch me? I used to be so negative. And then I realized, you know what? I can't really beat myself up too much though because I was depressed. Like, the reason why I dropped out was because I was depressed. So... Now we're trying it again in a much better mental state. I actually want to like be on this earth as bad as that sounds. Hi, if you don't know who I am, my name is Mai. I'm 18 and I used to live in Canada when I was growing up, but I just moved out to LA when I turned 17 last year. But I dropped out of high school when I was 15, going on 16. So I was a junior in high school when I dropped out. I'll link those old videos below where I just like bawled my eyes out on camera. I never talked about it really back then, but the reason why I dropped out was because I literally was so mentally unstable. I would cry in math class like every single day. It got to a point where I like couldn't even wake up anymore. So I dropped out. I'm glad that YouTube worked out for me because I don't know where I would be without you guys, but I'm gonna go back now. Why? Because you may be like, Miley, you don't need school anymore. Like you have a full-time job, which is YouTube, which is true, okay? But I'm just like a lot more mentally stable. I don't know if you guys can tell. And like, I kind of have like a routine down in my life. I live alone by the way, but I just thought, I wanted to challenge myself just because lately I've just been like in love with learning. Ew, that sounds so gross. Lately I've just been like in love with learning guys. So like I'm just gonna be quirky and like go back to high school. Like if I have the time now and it's raining and I am not crying myself to sleep every single day and like can actually wake up and get out of bed, might as well go back to school. Y'all are gonna come along the journey with me. I know I may sound like an overachiever, but yo, if I put my mind to something, I will get it done. And I honestly think that I will be able to graduate this year. Not this year, like next year, 2022, coming July, June. I think I'm gonna be able to graduate, but that means I'm gonna have to do like 10 freaking courses. I'm gonna be able to do it. And I know I'm gonna be able to do it. Yo, I'm obsessed with my dog. Yes. I'm gonna put a hoodie on because like clearly my yiddies are out. I usually sleep naked though. <laughs> but like I put on clothes so that like I can like vlog today. Thank me later. Praise me in the comments. Thank you queen for wearing clothes. Y'all would rather just have background music, right? And just like see me live my life than me like talk. Yo, I have a bunch of clothes on the ground because I'm like filming an outfit video. So we're not gonna talk about that. I wanna wear sweats today. I feel like a rainy day means like sweats and a big hoodie, you know? My slippers. All right, what do we think of the fit? 
Yo, I used to try so hard to dress up every day at school. All of a sudden, school was my runway. I looked good though, but mentally I was not good. But like as long as I looked good, like I felt good. But that would only last like so long. Like I would get up, put my outfit on, take a mirror selfie, feel good about myself, drive to school. And then once I got to school, all of a sudden, the look good, feel good motto did not apply anymore. These are like the best bagels, bagels, bagels ever. They're the Dave's Killer Bread oatmeal. No, not oatmeal. All of a sudden, I can't read. These are the Cinnamon Raisin Remix. <laughs> the remix. Daddy's like a melody in my. They're organic bagels with 12 grams of protein. Oh my god, 11 grams of sugar. Like I give a. F I'm only gonna eat half of one though, just because I'm gonna make breakfast after this class. Growing up in high school, I would always use margarine because it's cheaper than buying butter. But you know, now we're living a little bit better. We can buy some real butter. It's the little things, it's the little things. Time is currently 6.50. I have my first class in 10 minutes, but before we start, I have to print out my assignment that I'm gonna do. I don't know how it's gonna work since I've never done it like this. First class of the day is I can't believe I'm talking about school. Who would have ever thought that I'm like going back to school? But I'm like excited. I don't know why. But I think it's because like I'm voluntarily doing it this time, not being forced. As problematic as I sound, like I actually used to cry. Not because like I wanted attention. No, it was because I actually was struggling so much with my mental health that I stopped being able to learn and like focus in school. Because I used to be like an honor student and then I dropped down to like 70s and low, low, low 80s. So me failing was so... And it wasn't even failing. It was just me beating myself up. Now, I'm just gonna do it at my own pace. My first class is in six minutes. Why am I so scared? I made some green tea. I'm so hungry. I want to eat more. Oh my god, I'm in the class. I'm in the class. I'm in the class. My first assignment is to write an essay on where it's home for you, where do you belong, how have your surroundings influenced who you are today, and a few paragraphs describe this place in detail by identifying its physical characteristics and exploring why this place is important to you and how it has shaped you and how it has shaped who you are today. Let's do it. I can't do this. I'm trying to think right now and I can't think. Oh my god. Okay. I wrote my first word. Oh my god, this is making my brain hurt, bro. Uh, we could start with the first one. You're gonna have to like really go through it because I haven't done school in like two years. This is my first time doing math in like two years. <laughs> How would I know that that's exactly what I'm supposed to do? It's just my question. Like if I were to just look at this equation, how am I supposed to differentiate that? To know that this is the process. Holy sh that was like actually difficult. Like my brain was hurting, bro. I don't know math. I used to never understand people who say that like they just don't understand numbers, but I don't understand numbers. I don't get how you can just like look at something and know exactly what to do. But I haven't been in school in like two years, so like I'm giving myself a break. But maybe I should like learn words and like learn what the f a vertex and sh means before I start trying to figure it out because maybe that would help. But I've just finished half of that. I now have Vietnamese lessons. Oh my god, I actually want to die. Like that was terrible. Like why am I voluntarily doing this? I don't know. Like I know it's good for me, you know? <laughs> okay, go home, big noise, you you die. Go home, are you bad, you man? So go home, big noise. Basically, I am starting to lose my Vietnamese and I don't want to. Be a young lee, the hop die. When con me lam toy, con kiko, kiko me lam toy, in Canada. And then gong, um, how do I say the word move? Oh, I just had a Vietnamese lesson for an hour and it was so good. That flew by so fast. I just scheduled my classes for tomorrow. I tried to do LA while I was waiting for the teacher and could barely get it done. I think LA is just hard for me because like I forgot how to like structure words and like use words to describe places and I need somebody in person to teach me. I need to figure out how I need to structure things because I totally forgot, you know? And for math, oh my fucking God, that was actual hell, actual hell. The way he was explaining it, he was just whizzing through it and just saying all these numbers without like actually explaining it. I can't learn if I don't even know what the f I'm trying to find, okay? I have a meeting right now with somebody on my team for YouTube. So I'm gonna do that right now as well. I'm excited. Yo, I feel so like productive right now. Like, ah. Uh. Hi! Oh my God. It is such a rainy, gloomy day out, but I 
love it. But I think it's because I checked the weather the night before, so I mentally prepared myself for it to be a rainy day. Because if I would have like woken up expecting the sun and it wasn't sunny, I think I would cry. I'm gonna eat something because I'm gonna go to the gym and for energy, I need a little bit of sugar and fat. So I'm just gonna have a rice cake with some jam and peanut butter. And then when I get home, I'm gonna make a fat breakfast. How was that? Let's recap. I enjoy it. As much as my brain hurt, it wasn't that bad. It was only for like an hour, you know what I mean? An hour and a half. And I think as long as I get a tutor to help me in person, it'll be a lot better. Thank I can get a tutor because if I couldn't I think it'd be a lot harder, but damn why do teachers be speeding through shit so fast like am I stupid? Why do I not understand y'all are wondering what class I'm taking I'm currently doing English 20-1 and Math 20-1 which is pre-calc and then also I'm just doing Vietnamese lessons voluntarily just because I just want to learn Well, I already know the language But it's just getting really rough because I haven't lived with my parents in so long So I don't speak it often anymore and I'm just losing my second language. You know, I used to be bilingual Bilingual. <laughs> I don't know. Am I saying the word right? I used to be, but now it's like barely. And I want to be able to speak Vietnamese to my children. Like that's a whole language lost right there. You know what I mean? Like knowing another language is cool. I want my dogs to be bilingual. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy, but my dogs that I had growing up and like my family's dogs were bilingual. Like you could tell them to sit in two different languages and they would understand. I think I'm gonna be able to teach Sterling. Is that possible after like the age of two to be able to teach dogs new things? I mean, obviously, but don't dogs like learn a lot more when they're younger? I don't know. Cheers. My teeth are so cold. The reason why I eat jam and peanut butter before the gym is because it gives me more energy when I work out and it's really quickly absorbed in your body. I need to find a lighter and light a bunch of candles in my house because my house smells like boy and I hate it. I had my friend Aaron staying over in the guest room and he f sprayed his cologne everywhere and now it smells like boy and like I step out of my room and just get a whiff of boy and I'm like, ew, I don't want to smell a boy. I am so hungry right now. Like I just want to eat all the food in my fridge. I want to eat so bad, but I know that I can't because if I go to the gym after I eat that much food, I literally am going to throw up. So I'm like, maybe I'm just going to distract myself with drinking liquids. I'm going to drink this Celsius energy drink. I don't drink these every day anymore. Whoa, why do I love this weather? Today is a good day. Out of all the days, why is it a rainy day that I think today is a good day? Like, it's gorgeous. Like, I just want to go outside and smell the leaves. Y'all know what I mean, though? Like, the smell of wet rocks. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the smell of wet rock. You should just like try going out in nature, just like hugging a tree. It's just different. Like, mm. oh my god, I literally love the smell of outside. Can I get a candle that like represents like wet rocks? Is that possible? I'm gonna Google search that right now. Like wet rocks candle or like rainy. Maybe rainy day candle. I always feel like somebody's watching me. This is so pretty. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh my god, someone someone get her in the studio. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? Are we feeling in all white moments? I don't think so. But maybe, maybe I do think so. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> Boom! Okay, this is the fit that we got on. I put on purple leggings because the white shorts were gonna give me a camel toe and I just didn't feel like pulling down my cap. Stop. I didn't feel like pulling down my camel toe in the gym, so we're just wearing these purple leggings. This is from Gym Shark. I'm wearing a hoodie when I walk into the gym. It's kind of chilly. I love this hoodie. All right, well, let's get it. I mean, I say that, but like if it rained often, I'd probably be depressed. <laughs> I could literally just sit here and stare out the window all day long and like I might just do it. This is gorgeous. I wish I could open the windows, but it would get too cold. But do I care? Like not really. Oh my God. I love the sound of rain. This is gorgeous. 
I'm so hungry that like I can't wait for the sausage to cook. I'm gonna have my chicken burrito bowl. I meal prepped this a couple days ago and I eat like two of these a day with one salmon one. I eat a lot. Basically though, beforehand I take it out and then I microwave the chicken and rice together. This would be good if you like went back to, you know what, maybe I should use a fork. This would be really good if you like went back to school and you wanted school lunches, but I do school from home. So go like this, then ice for a little bit of moisture. Saran wrap and then throw this in the microwave. All right, this is the creation. There's chickpea, tomato, feta, black beans, seasoned chicken, rice, lime, avocado, and then I'm gonna throw some salsa on top of there, but oh, isn't she gorgeous? Anyways, I'm gonna add some salsa on this because it needs some, 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 something. Bro, why can't I speak? I stutter so much and I repeat what I say so much. Add some salsa, boom, boom, boom. Then we give it a good mix. Yo, this bowl is too small. Y'all see that heat? Mm, oh my God, I forgot to squeeze the lime. Yo, I've been obsessed with Brent Fias lately. He's on repeat all day long. Do y'all think he wants to marry me? He's a Virgo. Oh, my fucking chicken fell. Two second rule. There's no rule. I'm like, this bowl is so small. What am I supposed to do? Maybe it's just because, like, I'm dumb. But, like, when I was in home ec class and I would watch other people stir shit, it would drive me crazy because they would never stir it properly and, like, get the edges. And they would just kind of, like, you know what I mean? No, just me? Anyways, I'd be like, let me stir that shit. Probably should have gotten a bigger bowl. Cheers. This, like, hits in a different way. Oh my god, it's so flavorful. I'm gonna add some more cilantro. Yo, I got micro cilantro. It's so cute. It's so much cuter than like regular cilantro. I don't know. It's because the store didn't have regular cilantro, so I bought this. Yo, I'm literally just gonna sit here and watch the rain. Like, that's all I'm gonna do. I low key just cleaned my entire house, but it's like four o'clock now. The day flew by, flew. But I'm gonna shower because I feel really greasy. I mean, I probably should have right after I came from the gym, but like I was hungry. Oh, I should probably make a smoothie. I need to eat more protein. I'm gonna shower, then make a smoothie, then go to Target. Cause what do I need from Target? Oh, I need to go buy a calculator. Cause I don't have a calculator. I was trying to do math without a calculator. My teacher probably thought I was stupid. Probably. Kind of want to burn a candle out here though. Tula sent me some, so we're gonna use one of them. I love the smell of matches. This one is so gingerbread. We're getting to the holiday season. I'm so excited for Christmas. Even though Christmas is literally the saddest time of year for me because I don't celebrate Christmas because I don't really have like family here. I mean, I guess I could hang out with friends, but like it just doesn't hit the same. I mean, it does, but like just like knowing that like you're not a part of the, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm excited. I'm gonna like make sure the water's all hot and steamy. I just feel like when it's like rainy out, having like a nice hot shower and just like being clean is the vibe. And not saying that like being clean on like a hot day isn't the vibe, but something different hits when it's cold out. It's like you're all nice and warm and cozy and the weather outside is like, you know? No? Okay. Holy crap, I bought this journal like two months ago and it's almost done. That's a lot of pages, like a lot of pages. And I have like four different journals. It's because I think too much. Like I used to not think at all, but now I think too much. I always start off by writing the date and then I literally just write nonsense. Like there doesn't have to be a flow to it. Like it's just to get off your mind. Don't think about it. Literally just write what's ever on your head. All right, this is the fit. I know we're in my kitchen, but it's because I want to make a smoothie. That shower was really good. I have a massage booked for 6 p.m. It's currently 5.07. So maybe I'll get a calculator after. I try to get a massage like twice a month just because I work out so often that my muscles get so like tight. I've been to a massage therapist so often and literally if I ever go to a new one, they always say, oh, you should get massage more often. Like you're really tight. Like what the f I remember this one massage therapist telling me that I should get a massage more than once every six months. And I was like, dude, I go literally every week. What? I don't know why, but my muscles are so tight. I'm using pea protein. I'll link this down below. There's so much left, bro. I can't. We saved the fit though, we saved the fit. We most definitely saved the fit. Oh my God, am I a dumb bitch or what? Oh. 